Hello good, good people, this is Big Baby J with another episode of Final Fantasy X 2. Last episode, as you know, I showed you how to get some Iron Dukes. And if you go to my accessories, we go down to the very bottom if I'm not mistaken. And uh, here, I got 92 Iron Dukes. I didn't bother to max them out because it would be a waste. I mean, there's no point in really just going all out. But as you see, I do have 92, not including the ones I have equipped. Okay? So, I think all my creatures have uh, Iron Dukes equipped. Yep. Uh, my Shinra has one. Chocobo. Yeah, everyone has an Iron Duke equipped. Yes, everyone. Outstanding. Except, oh, I forgot I did have him in my party, didn't I? Okay. Uh, I have yet to use him, as you see. Uh, but, yeah, I do have him. So, we're going to give him, let's see now. Uh, let's go ahead and just give, if I'm going to use him, I might always use Covenant Growth to help him to get double experience. And use that dress here for now. We'll just set that right there. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, get my ladies in here. It's time to actually start uh, playing with my ladies here. All right. Uh, what do I have equipped as far as garment grids? Nope, I don't want to look at that. Look at this. We have higher power okay I'm going to have to make a few changes here uh, first Yuna that's going to be your dress sphere now I need to go to dress you know garment grips higher power that's what I need where is it higher power there we are now we're going to change out the berserker we're going to put that on here uh, for now, we're going to go with you, and where is it? No, 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 okay, uh, Dark Knight, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, it is on there, outstanding, so that's the only one I need to change out. Now, Pain, you're going to be my Dark Knight. That is your job. All right. Nope. Riku, your job. Berserker, that's what you're going to do. Outstanding. We're all set. Now, uh, let's get some more Iron Dukes in here. Yeah, that's perfect. Uh, we're not, we don't need key success. We need Iron Dukes. We're not trying to level too much leveling anyway. So, yeah. Uh, Iron Dukes is the way to go here. Now, this is going to be my party here, right here, okay? Now, uh, I gotta admit, I have been, uh, been MIA for a while, you know. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. But, I'm back at work now, and I don't have as much time to play as I've been playing before. So, please forgive me for that. And right now, as of today, my good friend K. Dal Kennel did his premiere of Final Fantasy 16. Y'all, please go check him out. And I'm not gonna start from zero. Let's start back from 20, where we left off. Uh, he's doing an outstanding job. One of the, my best friends. I met him on Final Fantasy uh, 12. We've been uh, friends ever since and he's doing an outstanding job please play his channel a visit like and subscribe if you would help him out give him uh, as much attention as you can because the guy is an outstanding creator okay i usually don't say that about many people but i met him he's a good friend and he is outstanding okay also uh another guy i have been observing uh 
Loot Goblin. I want to say that's his name. Uh, he has been out doing an outstanding job at uh, he's playing Final Fantasy X. No, uh, no sphere, sphere, no sphere grid challenge. Yeah, so you might want to check him out as well because uh, no sphere grid, Final Fantasy X. Yeah, that's saying a lot within itself. All right. Uh, also, there's another guy. Um, now I don't want to go out. How do I complete this? All right, I gotta go here. I think. What this do? Get me into the battle. That's what it does. Uh. So we um. What was I saying? Yeah, loot, loot, loot. Goblin, Final Fantasy X, No Sphere Grid Challenge. The man is doing an outstanding job. I've been watching him in his video, so y'all pay him a visit as well. I'm sure he would greatly appreciate. I need to get up there. I'm sure he would greatly appreciate it. And Rink Gaming, uh, he's another good guy I've been watching, so y'all might want to pay him a visit as well. He is now doing Final Fantasy uh, Nine. I guess I'm doing this right. Uh, make sure I don't hit that circle. After. I know that takes me back to the beginning. So. I uh, probably should be using ribbons for Riku, but right now I think I have too much to worry about. Oh, uh, that's Tom. I missed the Tom Barry. Outstanding. I wanted to miss him. Right now I'm making the battles look easy. I'm using the dress spheres that I like the best. So. Usually I would use Lady Luck. I told you in the last episode, Lady Luck is my favorite. And it is. But I also told you it's also weak. But this, these three dress spheres right here are my top selection for battles. And that, that hasn't changed. But if I'm doing any type of grinding or anything for accessories or special roll. items, then Lady Luck would be my way to go. But now I'm just trying to get to this through this Sorry, via infinite finito so and so this is going to be my party for a while I will eventually change up as the battles get harder but as for now this is my party Yuna will be my white mage uh, pay would be, be my primary damage dealer like for it's just just uh, Elder Drake and Riku well you know she's gonna be a damage dealer on her own so what I'm going to do now at this point, and he's oversold. How about that? Let's go ahead and uh, uh, break the damage limit with this guy here. Cause I already got the HP limit broke. I do need to break the damage though. And I use this to hold him down. Now, uh, not crippled, but hurt is what I want. Ah, uh, well, well, nice. Didn't see that coming, but it works. Okay, I didn't think it was going to do that much damage, but hey. I take it. All right. That'll come in real handy for the Mega Tomberry, by the way. And we will be dealing with him in uh, when the time comes. Uh, I wasn't trying to use hurt. I mean, uh, darkness. It's not time for that yet. No pain, no gain. Well, I guess I can uh, heal up a little bit. No, I don't want no mega potion. Oh, my high potions are down below. Here we go. I know I, I moved them, so. 
All right. Not taking very much damage, which is a good thing. But it's still early on. I, I forget what floor I'm on. But it's not a big deal. I'll see you what our floor I'm on in a minute. Oh, I forgot. Ah. Yeah, I need to pay attention to my attacks. I need to do normal attacks now. I'm not fighting nothing special. I'm on floor 25. So I got a ways to go. I don't know how far I'm going to try to make it right now. But I am going... I know I'm going to floor 40. That's for certain. Let's do normal attacks, please. Outstanding. So, like I said, I know I'm going to reach floor 40. I still haven't decided am I going to reach floor 60. Yeah, I'm not sure about floor 60 just yet. We'll see when uh, the time comes. I'm on a roll. Uh, this guy here, it takes 24 of these, these sandworms right here to oversold them. Yeah. So if you're trying to get your uh, end Garma Grid, or at the end Garma Grid, yeah, be prepared to fight a lot of those. Okay, we can just take this time barrier out, no problem. I'm glad we got a short one here. It'd be nice if all of them was this short. Now we can see we can bypass this little time barrier here. Jump to the where well, get, get thrown into a battle, of course. Yep, I avoided him. Outstanding. And I told you previously before when you get to prevail and you hear this sound, you will hear it quite a bit. And it's the only music that you hear down here other than battle the battle theme so be prepared for that so you you hear this sound over and over again no matter what floor you get to where Tom bear I gotta take you out to proceed further Wow it's like a man another, oh okay uh, so I thought I was fighting the time bear, but I wasn't. So now the official time bear fight actually took place. Okay. So that that explains how that works. All right, we we'll get past that. Now let's turn around and go back the other way. I think the as you go further down, I think the battles pick up as well. I'm not sure, but you know, uh, I also learned that I can use a ch I can't use the charm bangle. It doesn't work here, but I can turn the no encounters on. Let's get rid of this thing first. I hate these things. Yeah, let's get rid of him first. Oh, he oversold. Nice. Oh, uh, so he's immune to physical attacks well I got something for you you're not immune to darkness ouch uh, let's use new curja now standing back to a hundred percent
Uh, excuse me, Mr. Tom Barry. I have no time for you. Close to 30. Okay, I'm up 10 floors, or should I say down 10 floors? Hmm, he got some health. And that's uh, one of K Dog's favorite monsters, by the way, as you saw in his videos. And again, I'm going to say you need to check him out, please. Because uh, uh, he's a very good creator. Makes good uh, content for anyone who wants to, who's into gaming and watching gamers. Very entertaining. One of the best I can say, hands down. Now, I'm not going to say he is the best because there's always a matter of opinion. So, no, I'm not saying he's the best, but in my opinion, he is one of the best. So, I know how some people say, no, 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 I like this person better. Well, that's a matter of opinion, so. I just, I just want to see his channel grow, too, by the way. I really do. You won't find another guy as passionate about his work as he is. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, there's another guy I've been watching too. He uh, has been giving me some tips too on Final Fantasy uh, 13, which is a game I haven't played by the way. Never played it. His name is Kira. Uh, he has done a treasure hunting uh, guide uh, for Final Fantasy 13 and now he's I think he's doing a platinum playthrough as well so Kira check him out and show him some love as well uh, I also know about uh, Dark Swordsman and uh, Holly's Adventures Holly is doing uh, Final Fantasy 10 2 and other games as well she also playing Final Fantasy 16 so uh, is Dark Swordsman they're playing as well. There's a lot of people I have been coming in contact with. I have to say, uh, really have caught my attention. So I've started watching their videos and keeping up with them and what they're playing. Let's do it. So it's a lot of creators out there that I think I, I think is kind of getting overlooked. And. Uh, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm promoting everybody else's videos, and I haven't said a word about my own. I'm just not realizing it, but again, I might as well say it, you know. Also, if you're watching my videos, please like and subscribe, okay? Don't, don't I'm not trying to leave myself out. <laughs> it's not normal that you come to some people's channel and they talk about other, other people's channels. So. But I find these people intriguing, very interesting very good at what they do and I think they need recognition so that's why I uh, I'm doing what I'm doing I appreciate good people who try to put out good content for others to watch and they doing it not for personal gain some of them yeah I mean it is a little personal game but for the most part they enjoy what they do and to nice me that morning. is the most important thing have fun and what whatever you do have fun with it you know don't just do it just because it's they enjoy what they do I can honestly say that and that's why I watch their content they enjoy what they do they have fun with it and to me that's really what playing game all about have fun enjoying yourself you know helping each other out so But on with this uh, Final Fantasy X 2, I still say I, at first, I was, I played it before. So it's not my first time playing this game. And the second time, uh, maybe third, uh, maybe, uh, I think I've gotten pretty good at it. Uh, and I have been enjoying myself. It is a lot better than I once thought what it was. Because when I first, my first opinion of it was, 
it was like knockoff version. I mean, you know, it wasn't as good. And confession is still not as good as Final Fantasy X, but it's fun. I can tell you, I am actually enjoying this game. So, Child's play. I didn't give it enough credit the first time I played it. And I've been asked as to what is my next project. And be honest with you, I don't have any new projects planned as far as the game next game I'm gonna play. I also decided I'm gonna go back to Final Fantasy 15 because there's some post-game uh, experiences I can uh, I can do after after I beat the game. I already beat the game, but uh, there's some more things I can take care of in Final Fantasy 10. I wish I had a PlayStation 5 so I can play uh, Final Fantasy 16, but I don't have that so. I'm, I'm hoping Final Fantasy 16 comes to uh, PC sometime soon. Uh, if not, I will be finding myself going to purchase a PlayStation 5. Uh, it's already in the making. I just haven't. Bring it, punk. I just haven't put my mind to come off the money, money, or should I say, the gear for it yet. Yeah. That's so. it. By the time we'll come, I'm gonna have to break week and go ahead and get me a PS5. Cause I, I'm not seeing any way around it. It'd be nice if PC was able to keep up with uh, consoles, but certain games are uh, stuck with the uh, not stuck, but not that's the wrong word. Uh, contracted to be exclusive to those platforms until they finally decide to branch out into other platforms. Like Final, Fan Final Fantasy 16 is, uh, is strictly PS5, but as you know, later that will change. But during the initial turnout, uh, is this the right way? You're not getting away. Confident, huh? I'm very confident. Nice knowing you. It's, but I know Final Fantasy 16 is, I guess I gotta go the other way. Final Fantasy 16 is exclusive to PS5 at the moment. And I have yet to get one. Oh yeah, I just remember too. Uh, Dark Kefka. I know a lot of you ought to know him. Yep, a lot of you guys know him. Dark Kefka. DK. Uh, he has started his uh, No Sphere Great Challenge on Final Fantasy X. And uh, he had competitions with his computer. We still have yet to resolve him, but I think he uh, went ahead and started playing anyway. Uh, so, everybody, now I'm going to say everybody, the majority of the people that play Final Fantasy knows him, so. Alright, now let's see here. This is, this is an easy one. I'm glad you took care of that wasp first. Outstanding. And uh, about uh, Final Fantasy X-2, I realize it's more job-based oriented. I wish there's a way you could change accessories in mid-battle. You could change job in mid-battle, but you can't change accessories in mid-battle. Or am I wrong? Is there a way to change accessories in battle? You know, I really never even tried. The next battle I get to, I'm gonna see if I can change accessories. Oh, he got me that time. I couldn't see him. Oh, that was just a battle. I just got into a battle. That's all it was. I almost got him, though. Now, 
Now the real test is when I start fighting those Megaton Berries. Okay, level 37. I'm still I may stop it at level 40 and just do 20 floors at a time because the battles here are really something else I see it's taking more time than I thought so I may end it once I beat floor 40 just a thought I don't know. We have 38 now. Because I know some of the uh, maps that we go through are uh, longer. Die. And the monsters are getting a little stronger. Yeah, like that, right there. It's not a real concern, though. Yeah, it's not a real concern. But the monsters are getting stronger. So. But my girls, they can take it. They can handle it. They're doing a good job. I got all the best accessories in the game. So. Uh, they got the best accessories in the game. I got two Iron Dukes. Basically, it's almost foolproof. Almost. I'm not gonna say 100% because this game got tricks. What I mean by this game has got tricks, they got enemies that can still knock you down to one one HP. And all it takes is another attack to take you out. Which is rude actually. I mean just wrong in so many levels. How you just gonna knock me down to one HP and a single attack? And there's no defense for it. Honestly, no defense. At your service. And forget about these little bugs over here, these Vespas. They hit you with uh Sorry we have to uh, W I M P wimp. Or itchy. Or pointless. I didn't want to go that way. Now I will say I wish I hadn't escaped any battles. I did not know if you escape a battle, the end goblin grid is almost basically it turns into a higher power goblin grid basically because you uh uh do I have to fight you? Yeah, I guess I do. All right. Another one of you. Uh. Well, he's not a problem. And I think in one of the floors, he actually becomes a normal, normal enemy, so there won't be no avoiding him no way. But because I got my accessories, he's not a real threat. Not a real threat at all. And with my Moogle Bean, he's a punk, basically. Now we just take him out easily. And it's over. Yeah, Moogle Beam is awesome. And so is uh, 
Kathleen Cactar, I think that's the name of uh, Payne's move. Down we go. Okay, yeah, close to 40. Here we go. Lord Disco. Then you become an elemental. Let's take you out pretty quickly too. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and do you in. Yep, yeah, this is not gonna work. Yeah, that's the best way to go. And we got a chest of chests. What do we get? A moon bracer. Shining bracer. Moon bracer, is that a reflect auto reflect I think shine bracer is auto protect speed bracer auto haste cover bracer auto region catnip this accessory right here is a monster if you use it correctly uh, I'm not going to be using it right now so yeah all right let's continue on uh yeah let's go ahead and make let's try go go ahead and uh Go down, Yuna. Let's see here. Let's go on down to floor 40. 60. Correction. Floor 60. That didn't take as much time out. No, 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 no. Just attack. Oops. Oh, well. That's perfect. Okay, I already did that. What? Never heard of double, double check yourself sometimes. And that catnip accessory has been nerfed in this game. Uh, I think you automatically go into Berserk mode so you can't control your character and uh, you have to be in critical HP and you go into auto auto slow so but you can uh, get over that if you use a speed bracer so grip yourself a speed bracer along with the catnip you should be fine as far as keeping it from slowing you down but in critical state you will always do 9999 damage always so if you're going to use it in this version my recommendation to you is thief reason why I say thief because the thief attacks twice every time so you will always do two hits of 9999 Whereas in the original, you used to uh, use the gun mage and use, uh, uh, I can't remember because I don't use it. But anyway, you use the uh, trigger happy. That's what it's called, trigger happy. Use trigger happy and yeah. You can, however many hits you use, that's how many it takes. And I just realized he's actually missing, which is very nice. Nope, not that way, that way. All right, 
Wait, let's use Pure Jeff. Darkness. Uh. I'll let her have Berserk. Oh, she didn't even get a chance to use Mooga Bean. Too bad. Waste MP. Let me. I don't need to heal. Because Mooga Curja took care of that. Now, there's only 17 more floors to go. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Yeah, it's taking out her MP to do that, too. That's okay. I spent last episode 2 million gil. I thought I was using 200,000, but I spent 2 million gil on a mega weapon to get 99 three stars. That's way over kill. I can't believe I actually did it. I thought I was uh, using 200,000, but I wasn't, which sucks to be me. But I still got 10 million, so I mean, it really didn't hurt my pockets that much, but 12 million looks a whole lot better than 10 million. So don't make a mistake as I did. Pay attention to your make sure you pay attention. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Is there something I'm supposed to be doing here? So when you bribe it, make sure you pay attention to the amount of gear you're actually using. Because in my last video, I was talking about 200,000. And I actually used 2 million. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so this is where I have to go. Okay. You still here? Oh, that. You still get one final attack even after you die. Okay, there's a certain way I'm supposed to go through here. Oh, the enemy is not that tough. I'm not getting hit with Meteor after battle anymore. That's the way out. Don't want to go out. Okay, I guess it's. Bring it, punk. Guess it's the way out here. Okay, he's gonna get pain this time. Glad you missed. I think uh, that thrust kick is supposed to kick you out of battle. Duck 
So I think you can go out here. No. Okay, this is the way out. Okay. Oh, the Megaton Berry. Wait a minute. I, I can go around this time. I think I just go back this way. Yeah, you come down through here. And you can go around him. He's now above us. Come get some. All right. So I bypass the Tom Berry this time around. Mega Tom Berry, that is. But later on, it won't be so easy. Now I just gotta take out this little guy. Hey, I'm asking me is not nice at all. Ah, uh, Riku got blinded. Let's fix that. Eye drops. Come here, little Tom Berry. Time to die. You was once one of my favorite uh, creatures early on, but you quickly got replaced. What? Okay. You are tricking me. Guess I gotta go this way. No, not yet. Not that way. Okay. Guess I gotta go back this way. Okay, I fell for those kids. Okay, he's oversoling. And if um, you want to learn cry in the night with your gunmate, yeah, this will be time to do it. And I already have it, as you guys know. Okay, so that's not right. Oh, if that's not low down, so I had to go there just so I, I, wow, okay, so technically there's, I don't want to go there, okay, that's good, I know which one this one is doing. How did Yuna get her MP back? I didn't hit any save points. Did I? Oh well. Ain't no point of me to question it. But when did I get my MP back? Hmm. How about that? I know I've been using it. You know what? Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Everyone 
Stay strong. Quick, fix me up. Effortless. Barely got by you that time. Just barely. Now let's drop down the hole. Well, after I finish this battle first. Seven. All right, let's take out this Drake. Ain't no point in breaking the damage. We knew I would just hammer him to death. Now that I know how weak he is compared to my team, now so there's no, no, he's not a real, no, not a real threat. That's for certain. I think we gotta go up here. No, we gotta go this way. Take out the little small tunberry. Yeah, and it lowers the gate. Come here, dude. Yeah, this is pretty much on auto bottle now. I was worried about the other Drake, so I was breaking into H the damage cap. But now that I realize is he's not that comp complicated due to my Iron Dukes. Yeah, it's pretty much a cakewalk. Oh, we got ton we got a cactus. Cactus. I have no experience. That's cool. I ain't trying to max out my levels right now, no way. Probably shouldn't be picking on the cactus. He is part of my team after all. Part of my physical assault team. Too easy. A little roundhouse kick. Four fifty. You again. Hello, my friend. I used to be afraid of you so much. Had so much fear of you. Now you're just another fiend. Under my boots. But don't get it twisted, folks. He uh he hits you, he hit like a truck. Only thing that's saving me is actually the accessory I have, which is the iron dukes. Without those, he would hit me head on, I would have very much trouble.
Okay, this one again. Okay, this is too easy. I know what to do. So this is two large sized enemies. You know, it's really not fair. Because when you when I have a large fiend on my team or on the front line, I can only have one fiend. They have two. Look look at this. Two large sized enemies. Uh well, one large I think that fungar is a uh, medium size. Or is he? No, he's large size. He's large size. So why do I have to fight two large size enemies? When I can only have one large size enemy on my team. That is Yeah, I fell right into that trap that time. I've been getting by for so long. It's only my time it caught up with me. Why can't I only have one large size fiend? I can see if I had a large and a small or uh, two mediums for that matter. But no. It's cheating. The, the game is cheating. It's, look, two large fiends. When I had to uh, uh, capture these and put them in my creature, creature capture, I could only fight one on one. Well, one on three or how many I had to fight at the time. All the enemies against my one. Floor 52. Okay, this one again. Now I know when I get to 460, I'm gonna have to bring out some big guns. What I mean by that, that country. Yes, I'm going to fight that country. And I know how I'm going to beat them. So it's not going to be a real issue. But that Megaton Prince, man, that's crazy. But I think I have a way of surviving it with my girls so he shouldn't kill me off right off so I still should stand a chance against him there we go I don't want to go back. Okay. Which is the best way to take? Well, let's go and find out. I don't know. I think they all, all the roads lead to the same route. I'm not. Except for the exit uh, circle. So I shouldn't have no... I think one way is faster than the other, but... I just don't know which way to take, so we're just gonna run. Okay, so there's a loophole here. So, that's, that basically sends you over and over in the same route. So, therefore, I need to go to a different route. So, I need another route to take. 
Instead of going that way, I turn to the left. So I'm actually starting to become a mage now, I see. Yeah, let's keep doing it. Oh, Jumbo Cactar. Gotcha. Yeah, I got a rabbit's foot. Very nice. That's a red drop from the Jumbo Cactar. So if you use the Ray of Hope, you'll always get a rabbit foot for him, if you want to farm them. Five more floors to go. Then we face the Cuncher. If I'm even saying his name no correctly. Cuncher. -er. I think that's the correct way to say it. I could be wrong. But anyways, the big niece lug from Final Fantasy X that made an appearance in Final Fantasy X too. I wish this, that this uh, game had corrected the way you turn and the, the camera angles and everything. Alright, what do we have here? You know what? Okay, I can't go that way. So I have no choice but to drop down here. Okay, maybe there's a way to do this without fighting him. We're going to give it a try. We shall see. Well, well. Hello, little Tom Berry. Goodbye, little Tom Berry. <laughs> ah, so you can do it without fighting him. Come here. him how about that oh nice so really that's an easy way to take him out just chain him but you can't avoid that battle if you want if you do what I just did just take your time and drop down don't rush in and only took one hit from the Megaton Berry which gave me 1800 damage because of the Iron Dukes. Gotta love them. Okay, we got this again. Ah, 
two large sized monsters. Which I am restricted. That wasn't much fun. I can only use a medium and a small. Or a large or three small. They get to use two large. So unfair. Okay, we are almost nearing the end here. Very nice. 58. Piece of cake. That ham has a lot of health, uh, defense and health, I see. Floor 59. Close to 59, that's what I say. Okay, it's this one. I might well go here and just make my way around. Just catch me out of midair. Too easy. Too easy. <laughs> uh, too bad I didn't get the rabbit's foot. But I'm don't I don't have the array of hope equipped. that way I'm free uh, so I thought there you go okay the moment of truth this guy There's the mica. The knee slug. All right. Breaking damage limit on this one. First things first, three stars, item, where is it, stamina tonic, 
And item. Where is it? Where is my chocobo wing? Kupo Kurja. Alright. Nope, I don't want to go berserk. I want to hit hurt. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. And this is where I'm going to take him out. Oh no, not right. No. All right. Okay, get back up, Yuna. Need you back up. Oh, I need that again. Throws three stars works with uh, darkness as well. Did not know that. So I can use darkness and not worry about uh, any health drawbacks. Very nice. Uh, this battle is auto battle now. Uh oh. Riku's going to die. Nope. Pain dies. go down here to twin stars to the pain that should make our MP go to zero darkness won't have no effect so, yeah very nice yep it works And there you go. Very nice. Very nice. He's not here. Who? Trema. Who's that? Trema is the founder of New Yevon. He kept all of the spheres from Spear's past to himself and then vanished without a trace. Who'd have thought he'd crawl down here? But that was a year ago. 
So he's probably already... Dead? Maybe he was from the start. They say he was able to control the most powerful of fiends. Which is why I really think we should go home now. But no treasure chest? Nothing? Alright. Well, people, I'm going to end this episode here. We're going to go back. We're going to save. We're going to call this episode complete. So thank you guys for watching. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.